Hey, so what's up? This is Pete. I'm here with uh, Issa Rae, the, the creator of the award-winning, Shorty award-winning show, Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl. Thanks for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks, Pete. So what are you doing in New York? I came here for our college tour. We've been touring the, the country since October, and this was our last stop in, at Columbia University, so now I'm just, you know, hanging out with you. I appreciate you making the time. What was the, uh, how was the reception at Columbia? The reception at Columbia was amazing. Um, we like packed the house, people were waiting outside and like just the response, the people, the reception and the, the fact that the show resonates with so many people out here is amazing. I can vouch for that. I was there. Everybody knew all the words to your fake rap songs, which I thought was the coolest part ever. So, um, so anyways, I, I, I wanted to ask you here, you know, we've been getting out, spreading the word around about Hangar Underground and about what we're trying to do in terms of creating a, uh, uh, a link between all these people who are making shows on YouTube, helping them step their game up and, uh, and, and put it on, on television, actually. So, uh, so I just wanted to kind of get your thoughts on that. And I know that you're going to be out here actually next month uh, teaching a class for us. Is that right? I am. I'm going to be here the 25th from 6 to 8 p.m. talking about building a loyal fan base and, and just your audience online. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm just in the company of other great like web and TV entertainers, so that's awesome. I think we're really in the middle of a uh, of an interesting time where, uh, since since television has been invented, you know, it's been kind of controlled by uh, a few people with a lot of a lot of money and a lot of power, and now you know, uh, it's it's kind of opening up to everybody to be able to to compete if they can if they can do the uh, the quality the right way. So, t talk a little bit about the process of w when you started Awkward Black Girl to the last episode, uh, how you were able to improve the production quality and and what that would look like. So I started the first episode with just no budget whatsoever. I had like $25 to buy lunch for my friends. And um, since then, since the audience grew so much, I, I knew I needed to step the production quality up. And I, you know, I had a producer come on, a friend of mine from school, who wanted to just bring it to television standards. And from that point forward, we uh, essentially raised money, hired a crew. We used Kickstarter as a platform to raise over, over $56,000 to continue the episodes. And um, it's just been uh, fan support since then, just through donations on our website and um, just different platforms. We've just really been able to spread the word about the series through social media, most importantly. Very nice. So uh, I don't know if you remember this, but back when you lived in New York, we were having dinner together and, uh, and you were telling me that uh, you were working in, was a paralegal at the time, is that right? Or you were... I think I was trying. I was working in a theater company. I was trying to like step in into like law. Yeah, I remember because we were having a conversation at dinner, and you were saying, you know, your your passion was you wanted to be in film, uh, and your father, you know, was uh, it, wanting was best for you, of course, but telling you you had what was it nine months or something like that in order to to make a career in in film before you had to go to law school. Yeah. Is that right? You have a great memory. Yes, that was exactly it. And I took that. I had to take the LSAT while I was out here and. I was studying for it, and he just really wanted me to just go to grad school. He felt like that was a concrete thing. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of you, and I'm, I'm uh, very grateful that you're going to be coming out and teaching a class for us. Uh, it's going to be awesome, and uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you, Pete. I love what you're doing, so anytime I can support. Great. Thanks a lot.